Starting their mission. The shot. One enemy remaining. Did you see the new episode of Blue Lock? Oh, I didn't yet. Oh my god. Our aim is so good, man. This is reminding me of me. Hey guys, Joel's here. We're starting something new. We're giving away one free coaching session every week. Watch until the end of the video to find out how. Enjoy the video. Oh wait, your tracker's actually good. I haven't got past Diamond 1. Nah, that's pretty good though. So you've been playing... Is this your first FPS too? Yeah, it's my first FPS. Currently right now? Yeah, your stats are pretty good. Act just started. So peak Diamond 1, 152 damage per round, 1.16 KD. Headshot percentage is pretty good too. Oh wow, yeah, your Reina stats are insane. Oh, win percentage is low on her though, but... Well, that could be because uh, no, number of things, but like you, you are playing very well. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, you're fine. You're fine. You're fine. <laughs> you're fine. You're fine. It's fine. It's fine. Yep. Dismiss. Yeah. This one's doors. Yeah. Nice. Don't worry about it. Listen. Seriously. Don't worry about it. Any okay for the next any time you whiff, I need you to you, in your mind or out loud. You're gonna say it's fine. I'm the best. Okay, that's your homework. Any time you whiff, if you die or you run away, you just get, shake it off and just be like, it's fine. I'm the best. That's what you gotta say. All right. Okay, you got this. There you go. You got this. You got this. So the problem with this angle is they can come up from up top, right? And we're not ready for that. I think he's on your right. Yeah. Good flash for stalling. Oh, what a shot. So you know how they can jump on top? Yeah. Anytime you're holding an angle, if they can be in two spots at once, like they can jump from up top or they can come from bottom. I don't really like those angles. You know what I mean? Because we can only be in one. Every time they're coming around that corner, they're going to be looking exactly where you are. But if they're coming around the corner, you don't know if they're jumping up top or they're coming from where you're aiming at. So I usually like to avoid those those type of angles. So you can play maybe a little bit more passive towards art or maybe a little bit more aggressive, but I don't like that angle specifically. Spike planted. Oh, good try. That was tough. There was a lot of things going on there. It's good though. I mean, we got the kill on the Phoenix ults. We got a full heal because of that. So another thing too with your flashes, you want to throw your flashes up in the air. Um, try, Yeah, a little bit higher. You don't want it to be head level. So basically you need to get them to move their crosshair up and down. It makes it a lot harder for them to restabilize after that. You also have your ults. I'd probably pop it. Yeah. Nice shot. It's like, your aim and mechanics are actually very crisp. It looks really good. Thank you. Yeah. No, you got to be more confident in yourself. You're you're actually a very good player. So crosshair placement is a bat, is a little bit low. I think that's our biggest issue. I think we have very good aim, but I do think our crosshair placement is a tad bit low. Quick switching a lot. Nice. Oh, I shot though. Oh. Oh my goodness. She's in the corner. Yeah. Left. Yeah, this is exactly how you want to be playing Reyna like that, where you just kind of jump in, you get one, and then dismiss out, you know what I mean? And then you're basically just playing an absolute rat. So it's it's exactly how you should be playing Reyna, so... Yeah, there's a lot of A. I would, I would ult and then look to fight here. Very nice kill. Nice kill. Yeah, pick up... Yeah. Oh, yeah, in that situation, like, it's only a matter of time until that jet smoke drops. It's either we fall off or we push in, you know what I mean? We have to try and, like, make a play there, but everything up until then was really good. The first kill on the Reyna, good, dismissed back behind the box. You ended up getting dinked through the wall randomly. That was very unlucky, but you got the kill on the Cypher, repositions, picked up the gun. It was good. Those are very good rounds. Stop, pause the video right now, and go subscribe. Thanks. Oh, my. Ooh. Oh, wait. Oh, oh nice try. No, that was good. That was not bad. No, 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 that was not bad. That was the complete opposite of bad. That was very good. The fact that you were able to get the first kill, I would, I probably would have dismissed back to where I came from, but you found the way to isolate the 1v1 while you're dismissed and then take the fight with Arena, get the kill, and then dismiss back to... I think that was good, honestly. I think that's the best you could have done in that situation. 
Let's go. Yeah, here I'm looking for a free heal. Could be up right, yeah. Very good awareness. It's just crosshair place. Okay, so chat, remind me. Crosshair placement and how we're holding angles. Those are the biggest things and confidence. Those three and this person is getting immortal. I'm not even exaggerating. Free heal. Yep, don't mind if I do. One enemy remaining. Could be flying too, doesn't look like it. Oh, yeah, she is. Player Careful. Standing. Okay, okay. In that situation, oh, yeah, yeah we, we probably don't peek that only because we want to be playing with our jet a little bit, right? Yeah, so. Yeah. yeah, this was a little unfortunate. I think we play around our jet there, but mm -hmm. everything until then was really good. Very nice aim. I don't think you're the reason we lost this round, but I'm just saying, like, if you're ever up numbers like that, yeah, if you ever want to play it a little bit better, it would just be to avoid giving 1v1s when you're up numbers like that. But other than that, mm -hmm. My shots, seriously. Okay, okay. This round, so let's see. Yeah, I would go mid. I would go mid. Only because it's like, we don't really have good uh, sight taking ults. We kind of need to lurk a little bit. We have sage res. If we die early mid, maybe we can play around the res or something. So that's my thought process. Should I go like art or? Um, you could just look for a fight, basically. Yeah, yeah, probably late art. So your team wants to go A. I would hide around this corner. Just chill here for a bit. I wait for them to make a ton of noise. Yep, perfect. Oh, oh no, I <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. Oh, man, what a game. That's crazy. We lost. Wait, hit tab again. 25, 25 kills and we lost. One thing I'll say, you played very well. Like you, you actually played very well. Wait, okay, go to scoreboard. Let me see what rank they were. Huh. I feel like even though these guys are plat and golds, they're not actually plat and gold. We're losing 14 RR, but how much do you gain? Last game... 31 <laughs> yeah you're winning a lot more than you're losing which is very good that means that means your mmr is a lot higher than what your current rank is so i think you're playing in like diamond lobbies based off of your rr gains all right let me go let me share my screen let's go over some stuff that I'll, i think will help you out so the biggest three things that that i noticed crosshair placement sometimes so some angles it's a little bit on the lower end like we're not in like actually aiming head level sometimes some angles Man. that we take like let's say here i noticed that mid it would be like your crosshair placement was like here right and it's like mm -hmm. it's not necessarily head level but it's it's kind of close like i always put this like chest like a little bit above chest level but like head level would be like here you know what i mean like head level is just slightly higher so sometimes and that goes with like most angles that i've noticed that we take it's like just barely below head level which it's like here, you know, and it's like head level would be like here instead. Uh, so flashes, you never want to throw your flashes head level because, you know, if there are head level, they're just going to break it like this and then they're ready, you know, this way. But if you throw it up in the air, you it's a lot harder to aim this way than it is this way, right? Because Valorant is, is very like more of like a horizontal game where it's just like you're mainly just you, you're mainly moving your mouse left to right rather than up and down. So this movement is a little bit harder to do. So by throwing your flashes up in the air, you get them to have to do this and it's harder for them to kind of stabilize after that. Um, okay, okay. So this was a bit a, a big one for me that I've noticed. Sometimes when you're holding angles, you're kind of just like chilling here you know what i mean or you're like this and you're just like kind of holding like this and when you are holding angles i wouldn't recommend just sitting still and, and doing it or like just chilling like this and doing it because in this game there's what's called peekers advantage right and then when they come in the corner they actually see you before you see them and if you're sitting still you're kind of an easy target to hit so what i would recommend doing is like if you want to hold an angle you should be like jiggling like this right or just like moving back and forth and like strafing back and forth. So if they are coming on the corner, you're gonna be moving on their screen and they're not gonna be ready for something like that. And that's only if you wanted to hold an angle, which I don't really like holding it. I like peeking into them. Like I like timing them. Like I'll just like kind of chill like this and then maybe like randomly just try something like that. And then if I don't see them, I'm going back to just like chilling like this. And then it's like, eh, maybe you take a quick little peek. Don't see anything. All right, we're chilling. But, you know, sitting here like this, I'm kind of like committed to a fight. It's like if they come around the corner, I'm kind of committed to this. And it's like, I don't really want to give them that commitment because if they get this kill on me, you know, they're just going to knife out and then they have a site for free. But now if they're if they come around the corner and they don't see me and they're like, oh, shit, where is this person? And then they're like checking here. And as they're checking here, that's when you peek and timing them, you know, 
it's huge. So just something to think about. Yeah, anytime you're, you're holding an angle, yeah, just try and just kind of be like moving a little bit and yeah you're chilling uh that's one thing that i noticed your awareness is good too so one thing i wanted to mention so what you're doing good it, well you're doing a lot of things good but i just want to make sure that you're still going to keep doing these kind of things so after you guys get sight no one is watching flank and then you're just like oh shit they could be flank you immediately went to go pick it up this is very good habits to do um so one thing though with with watching flank and to avoid getting timing there's a couple times where you were like this and then you would go and then look look here right and it's like well, there could be a world where you get timing, they come around the corner and then kill you, right? Like as you turn back around, less likely, yeah. So what I would do is like, I'm watching flank like this and then maybe I, you know, maybe I just go like this and actually full clear it. And then it's like, I see nothing or maybe, you know, you just clear it like this, you see nothing or you jump peek it, I see nothing. And it's like, okay, now I go and help my team. And you know you won't get timinged. You know what I mean? Like, it's almost impossible for you to get timing because we cleared it. So how I see it is like, this is our range of vision. And then after I, I'm done checking here and I go help our team, I have a very small amount of time to work with because from the person, let's say, let's say in an alternate universe, this person was here when we were like, we just got done watching the angle from this angle all the way till where I am. It's probably like two seconds. So realistically, we only have like two seconds to work with. It's like, you know, boom, boom. And then we'd like one, two. Now we have to start looking again so we don't get timing. Does that make sense? But yeah. if we check like a more deeper angle and now we just check flank, now it's like five seconds. Now we have five to seven seconds to play with. And now I could just kind of chill here, help my teammate out a little bit, you know, see what's up, what's up, what's up. And then it's like, okay, now I can go back to, to watching flank in case that they're there. You want to eliminate these sort of possibilities because these possibilities is how you can lose rounds. Like every time you leave yourself open to these like windows and timings, it can get ugly, right? Uh, um, confidence is a big one. So like you mentioned before, confidence is a big one, And but you have a secret technique now, all right? The secret technique is anytime you whiff, you need to just say it out loud. Just be like, it's fine, I'm the best. I'm the greatest, all right? Just say it, just say it even if you don't believe it. Say it even if you don't believe it. If you whiff and you're just like, oh my God, I'm so shit. No, you just say, it's fine. I'm the greatest, I'm the best, all right? And you're just gonna be like, next round, you're just like, all right, this is my round. I gotta, I'm about to pop off, all right? Do that. I promise you, it will help you. I, I promise it'll help. Because, you know, I whiff all the time. I whiff all the time. I'm not kidding. Like, my chat roasts me all the time. They're like, Joel's, what the hell was that? You know what I mean? And I, and, or they'll just be like, no one saw anything. No one saw it. Don't worry, you were lagging. You know, they like they like to cover for me. The enemy team is even typing for me to uninstall. It, it happens. But you know what I mean? I don't let that get to me. And then next round, I pop off. And it's like, that sort of mindset is what's, what's going to make you consistent. Because if you let those things get to you, it will get to you and, and you, it'll make you play worse. Um, and I think you're a very great player, like a very, very good player. I'm not kidding. I'm not just saying that either. Um, so I, to, to, for you to be defeated by, you know, your own, your own brain, it, it would be, you know, it would be a very sad thing to see. Right. So don't even worry about it. You know, like whiff a couple times, who gives a shit next round? You're popping off. Right. Just don't be too hard on yourself is what I'm trying to say. It's good to try and get better and improve and see where your weaknesses are. But it's another thing to think that, you know, you're not that good when realistically you, you are. Well, all right. Best of luck in your rank games. If you're playing anymore today and I hope you have a good rest of your day. Thank you. No worries at all. Bye. Bye. Have a good one. Guys, 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 free coaching every week. Join the Discord in the description box below. If you want to try out other coaches, go to coaching.joelcv.com or click the link in the description below. They're already players, they're great people, and I personally vouch for them myself. Good luck climbing.